So I'm Ninja Online guys, and welcome to a story about my uncle. Now this isn't actually my uncle, I'm just clarifying, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways though, I know that was super cringy. Um, I've never played this game before, I've seen a tad on it. It's another game I was talking to one of my friends there, he said it's a decent game. I think it's fairly short, it's not as short as uh, What Remains of Edith Finch, but... I think it's probably like a, what, a 4 hour game or something like that from what I heard. So let's jump into it here and find out what we're getting ourselves into. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Alright. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. I guess that's our cue, Okay, standard stuff. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. I click to zoom. Guess we're going up. Up, up, and away. Daddy's helmet. <laughs> That's hilarious. The big daddy's helmet. Oh my god. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. Hmm. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Perfect for us. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. Guess we're going on an adventure. Adventure. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, as I said, I was a curious child. Opening the dome. I don't know what's going to happen, but... We just get launched up into space. Gone! Story about my uncle. I would explain what I know about this game, but to be honest, I don't really know anything. I ended with a crash, but thanks to the suit, I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me. Why do I seem shorter than I am? Back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going or how I would get home. Jumping this is crazy. Oh my god. Big jumps. All right. A 
Hold shift to run. There we go. Saved. The suit protected me from falls on the ground, but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. Yo, this is actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I was sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Where were they? Power leap. Hey, that's really cool. Shit. I didn't think I was going to slide there. I slid off the rock. Okay, but like, what is this way? I meant to let go of the button there, and I didn't. Scared the shit out of me. Okay, it's just right there. Again. You know there's something over there, though. Oh my god. Because I'm running, I'm not touching the ground on certain frames back here, so I'm actually just... There we go. I mean, that was good, except I wasn't lined up properly. There we go. That's good. How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods. Canned soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh, well, it's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains, and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two Damn. days. Damn. And all we ate was tube food and cold canned well, goulash. I've been over there, so that's all that matters. Your grandmother was worried sick. Just trying to see if I've missed that anything. It was all very exciting. No, I haven't. Cool. I should have uh, power leap there. It's not thinking. This would be a cool speed game, though. Plop. I don't know if I'm make that jump. Nope. Fuck. Should have waited a second. That sucks. You know what I just realized though? It's probably entirely possible to even just skip that and just go straight down. That's cool. Haiki wanna try Haiki wanna try speedrun this game. I speedrun one game. I'm like, oh yeah, I can do this. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, I guess I'll talk about it briefly here. Uh, I started speedrunning murdered, murdered Soul Suspect. The power core I found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. I started uh, speedrunning Murdered Soul Suspect, and uh, as of right now making this video, my PB is 5604, and to put that in perspective, the world record is actually 5504. So, but Murdered Soul Suspect isn't really a hard game. There's only a couple tricks you have to learn. And the tricks aren't super hard, so. The grappling device left a sort of 
symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave. And I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. I think I was too late on the release there. Right there. Hey. Just made it. I found a strange gizmo, some sort of measuring tool that Fred must have built. It seemed to be done measuring, though, so I took the results to give to Fred. I was trying to charge up my sprint there, but I didn't wait long enough. And I bonked there. That's lame. That's good. Ayo. Yeah, I really like this game. <laughs> if nothing more for the movement, combine power jump and the grapple to reach higher areas. Yeah. Grappled onto the wrong thing. This, this fucking movement is so nice. Oh my goodness. I didn't charge up quite long enough there. That's alright. You imagine if I save that? Oh my goodness. Play it safe here. For this one though. Grappling a moving object, you will follow along. I heard something over here. reach that or not to tell you the truth I guess I should be able to didn't know if I was going to land that or not so I thought I'd play it safe I was going to say, I almost didn't make that. No, I, I really didn't. But I'm not going to go for that one. That should be good. Nice.
That should be good. Oof. Oof. Okay. Didn't know if I was going to make that or not, but I did. And a power jump here. Two times before landing. Nice. Shit. Yeah. I'm not even going to try to recover that. figured that out. Okay. I let go way too soon there. I'm not going to make that. I didn't want to raise up as high as I did on the first one. I thought it would be problematic. It turned out it actually wasn't, but... That was problematic. Way too high. That should be good. Wanted what's that? It's gonna lead me around. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, so there's two stones on two cycles. Got it. Did you ever see any of Fred's experiments yourself? Yes. I actually helped him collect samples for his research sometimes. To learn about them? That's right. We found all sorts of things. One time, we went to the forest and found a small pool of water that was full of eggs. Eggs? Were there chickens in the forest? No, not chicken eggs. These were small and jelly-like. Hundreds of them. Fred told me that they were frog eggs. He was in for a surprise, though. Guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, he took some eggs back home, and one day, Fred woke up with bites all over his body. Turns out, it wasn't frog eggs after all. It was mosquito eggs. Oh, God. Ah, oh, poor Fred. I know. He did find real frog eggs eventually. He told me that they were very, very special. But I don't know what happened to them. Oof. I thought I could save that. Damn. Alright, I know what I have to do there to get up there. Swing up. Go. Go over. 
That was poor time, so I'm gonna wait. Uh, that should be good. <laughs> Funny thing is, it was the same rock, too. I got that first try. Just blindly jump. No? Whew. Save that too. Oh my god. <laughs> this is kind of cool though. Yeah. Hmm. These blue lights. Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else here as well? I gotta say, I'm a huge fan so far. Like, I'm not usually a fan of platformers, you guys know me, but this game is actually pretty decent. I like the movement in this. Feels really nice. Oh my god, look at this place. There's someone up ahead. Hello, who are you? You're not from here. Wow, you look just like Fred, but smaller and with less hair on your face. <laughs> she knew Fred. I told her that he was my uncle and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know why really, but you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So I'll see you there. I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by frog people, or more like salamanders either way they, they walked like humans they talked like humans how is that possible going up yeah yeah, 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 going up. All right, let's charge this up. Leap of faith, grab that. Didn't want to bonk, but that's okay. There's a ladder there. Not that I'm interested in where it goes, but. Almost thought that was problematic, but I made it in. I do want to go up there then. Just a little shack. I know, I know, I'm coming. She's like, I'm right here. Notice me, senpai. Just looking around. Alright. Hi, what's up? It's crack lacking. Hi. Welcome to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days, though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me, but it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad, unless you have to stay for too long. <laughs> when you're done, go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later. I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? I mean, yeah, I guess they're the same species. It's just they're different. Um, 
different colors. Boing. That's awesome. It's a Game Boy with a, a story about my uncle on it. I, I wanted to know what book that was, and then I get a little bit closer. I'm like, that's no book. I like their little totem guardian thing. Oop. It looked like most of the shacks in the village were built out of trash trash from our world so fred was sending the trash here after all a garbage disposal pad that took me here sending it here for these people i guess or he was just sending it here and then realized that there's actually people here it's probably the more prominent answer Almost went off the edge there. Nobody's seen that though, it's fine. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It ain't happen. more stuff I mean I really don't need to super jump there but I'm gonna do it that's where the elder is I want to know what's on this one I bonked bonked I bonked at least I didn't fly off the edge, I guess. So this is his tent. Okay. For how long had Fred been gone? I'm not sure. A couple of months, I think. Less than half a year for sure. I remembered hiking with him the summer before, but when I counted the days in his journals and from when I last saw him, it didn't make sense. Maddie said that she had known him all her life. Maybe she meant it figuratively. Figure... Like she didn't really mean it. Like when you say you'll die if you don't get a puppy for your birthday. That's true though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course it is. Right here it says, uh, 20 says, 27 days after arrival, I named one of the little froglands uh, Madeline, after my old journey companion. I bet she would have loved this adventure. Anyway, the little frog lives up to her name. So curious and uh, inventive, eager to learn as well, she even asked me to teach her how to write. Looks like she drew on that picture even. That must be from us, obviously. God, look at all this trash. I'm starting to get a bad vibe for this game. I'm just thinking that fucking... Um... This is just a dump zone for their trash. That's all they're using these people for. These poor froglings. Nah, but seriously. It's, uh, it's intriguing. I don't, I don't actually think that they're dumping shit here. I mean, I do think he was doing that, but I don't know if he was doing that just because and then found out that there's people here, or rather, um, a species here, or if he was doing this uh, the entire time to help the species out. So, 